So this is the point where I usually get really like feel funny being home and I get really like emotional and overwhelmed seeing my dad. I've had to tell so many different lies. We arrived, time parked around the corner. Hi everyone, I'm currently in an airport hotel in Kuala Lumpur and I have left India. I left India yesterday and I said goodbye to Treya and it was really hard to say goodbye because we had such a good time together. We even spoke about it quite a lot and reflected quite a lot at the end of our trip and spoke about how we just really got along so well and we were on the same level all the time and we just like taught each other so much thing so many things anyway that that's not what this video is about so this video is obviously going to be about me surprising my grandma because she doesn't know i'm coming home if you didn't know I, i'm from perth australia and i live in england and i come back maybe like once a year or so so make sure you stay tuned to the very end of the video so let me just catch you up with how long this travel day or travel few days has been so First, it started yesterday afternoon when we left our hotel in Varkla Beach in India. I caught a four hour train to Kochi with Treya's friend. And then my flight wasn't until later on at midnight and I arrived in Kochi about 6.30. So we just like chilled at his place and pretty much waited to my flight. Then I got an Uber that took an hour to get to the airport. And then I went to the airport for about two and a half hours and it actually took me quite a while to get through security because this airports in India are actually quite strict, um, like quite sort of picky and make you get out absolutely everything out at security. So I did all that and then I got on the flight and it was so, so weird. So I flew with Melinda Airlines. So in the upcoming uh, weeks before I got this flight, my flight changed about three different times. It kept getting moved to different days. I had to keep changing it to a different day because it wasn't gonna work for me. So originally I was meant to be flying from Kochi to KL and KL to Perth with only like a two hour stopover, but then it got changed to like 35 minute stopover. So I pretty much had to just be like, um, I'm not gonna be able to make my next flight. So can you please figure something out? So then the next flight was actually going to be uh, 6.45 at night in Perth. So that's why I'm in an airport hotel at the moment because I've got 11 hour, 11 and a half hour stopover. So I was like, I'm just gonna book a, a hotel room because I'm gonna be absolutely knackered. I'm not gonna sleep on the plane. Anyway, I booked this hotel room. It's the Aero Hotel, Aerotel Hotel. Only 30 pounds per night and you get this really nice bottom room and a really nice modern shower. And yeah, it's been really good so far. But yeah, anyway, back to the flight. Um, the flight literally had like 15 to 20 people on it and normally these aircrafts carry 200 people so that's obviously why the flights kept changing a lot because of co the coronavirus so it was just such a weird experience like, I've never experienced such an empty flight before so it was just really weird so the good thing was I actually got to lay down along the three seats and got to sleep a little bit it's currently two o'clock now and my flight leaves at 6 45 tonight so hopefully my next flight to Perth will be the same and I'll just be able to like relax a bit um, and have some space I'm gonna try and film a bit of a travel montage now and make my way to Perth and hopefully the next part you see will be me arriving in Perth and seeing my dad and then seeing my grandma after that. So make sure you stay tuned. Got myself a bubble tea. That's the good thing about Kuala Lumpur Airport is there's so many good food options and lots of shops. Since I left you stood the test of time like a leader It got too far and I will always linger You went away to feel the wind get a fitter The work that I was on the verge of in Perth and it's an absolute ghost town in here. I'm just in the baggage claim and there's no one around. I think we're the only flight that's landed though and there wasn't many of us on the flight. A bit busier than the one before but not that many. So this is the point where I usually get really like feel funny being home and I get really like emotional and overwhelmed seeing my dad but I think I'm not as emotional as I usually am. I think I'm getting used to coming home. Oh my god all the luggage is just lined up on the belt. <laughs> Look, it's just like there. 
already. Okay, so now I'm gonna go see my dad after get my luggage to it. You're on video. <laughs> Don't be filming. <sure. laughs> the next morning now, because I flew in really late last night, um, and we're on our way to surprise my grandma. Um, also, she's been messaging me a few days ago asking like, what time do I fly and where am I stopping over and all those sort of questions. So I've had to tell so many different lies. And then she texted me last night before I flew here in Kuala Lumpur, like asking if I got home yet. So I had to just be like, yeah, I'm home. I'm just gonna go to for a sleep now. <laughs> so we're going there and hopefully she's got no idea. Dad's gonna arrive first and then dad's gonna be like, oh, can you help me some with something in the car? And then I'm gonna pop out. So anyway, dad's about to take off. So I've got to go get in the car. Okay, we arrived. I'm parked around the corner. Hopefully this works because I don't really know how much I should wait until I get go over there. <laughs> Hi guys, me from the future. Unfortunately, that's where this video ends. I didn't really film that much whilst I was in Perth. I stayed in Perth for about a week. And as the week went on, that's when the coronavirus was starting to get worse and worse. It was just starting to make the trip like not as fun, you could say. Like I was still seeing family and friends and stuff, but it just wasn't the same. Like there were certain friends that I couldn't see. I was starting to become worried that my flight was going to get cancelled or something was going to happen with a flight or UK were going to shut their borders. I did film a few different things. Like when I went into town, I went out for this really nice lunch with my mum and my sister to this Vietnamese place. So I definitely recommend going there if you ever go to Perth in Yagan Square. And you know, we did a few other things around Perth, but I didn't really film that much because I was trying to spend time with my family. And I was just becoming anxious at the end of it and I just wanted to sort of get back to the UK. So yeah, unfortunately that's where it ends. Obviously it was really great surprising my grandma and we had a really great time and she was really happy to see me but yeah that sort of concludes my adventure to India and then to Perth pretty much when I landed in the UK it was the day that they went into lockdown so I've been in lockdown ever since and I've actually posted a video all about my journey from Perth to Manchester anyway posted that a bit earlier because obviously it was more relevant at that time this is like two months behind. There's going to be loads more videos coming along, probably more like advice videos about India and hopefully I'll be doing maybe other travel videos. I don't really know. We have no idea what's happening here. We've been in lockdown for two whole months now. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.